Chate, you answered. I've tolerated your absence for too long. Come back now, or I put an end to this partnership. That's what I'm calling about. This could all be over soon. Been a long hunt, but I found the vermin's nest. It's on an old dirtball of a planet called Runic. Looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for. I know my limits. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. But if you help me cut through the trash, I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. It's time for Hedda Cole to pay. So that's Runic, Hedda Cole's base of operations? That's right. I also managed to piece together more about her. One thing doesn't track. She moves like a Mando. Fights like she's been trained by the best, but I couldn't find a clan affiliation. I'm certain she's one of us, but it's strange. Whatever she is, people follow her. Years back, she ran a small team of outcasts for a while. They became her inner circle. This group was responsible for several raids against both Republic and Imperial interests. She owes nothing to either side. In fact, looking at her targets and the chaos she left behind... It goes much deeper than gathering resources. She understands cruelty is a very effective weapon to remove resistance. Sometimes. Following Hedda has made it clear she has a plan and the will to see it through. What else did you learn? She's gone to great lengths to hide her location. False trails, dead contacts, and now runic. The planet is in the middle of some kind of electrostatic storm. Messes with communication and navigation. Prime location for a hideout. After the ambush on the Spirit of Vengeance, she's been busy building up her forces, applying pressure, and making the occasional threat to a number of clans. Rumors say her group is making a move soon. What do you need? Someone I can count on, so I can focus on answering her insult. A Mandalore expects opposition. All Hedda had to do was name a time and a place, but her attack was a knife in the back. Now that I have a location, I need help getting close enough to see those blasted horns on her helmet. Make no mistake, she's mine when the time comes. Is that clear? If my choice is stopping her or your personal vendetta, I won't hesitate to end this. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Meet me in the hangar. My stealth craft should get us down to the planet without being spotted. But when the time is right, Hedicole will hear my challenge and see my blade. We're in position, Mandalore. And for the record, I'm not fond of this plan of yours. I hear you. But I won't risk her bolting if that storm can't hide our fleet. You could be walking into a trap. I'm counting on it. We aren't fools, Jakaya. We'll keep our eyes open. See that you do. Mandalore. Good hunting. Well, well, look who it is. I knew I should have packed my spaceship crashing pants. Ras Ordo. Right in the middle of all this, I see. You know me. Hate to disappoint. Load up, everyone. Take off in three. Time to sharpen our blades.
Here we go. Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Probably because of that. Wow. Sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means. Okay, we're close. I know they have a base down here, but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. Hang on! Blast! That was a probe droid! Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. This signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Brass, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. Everybody stay off comm starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. Wait, wait! We're just technicians! You work for Heta Cole? Who? No, Darmanda hired us! Look, we came straight from orbit. No questions asked. Some kind of top secret thing, okay? We're here to check on some droids. Then you have no value. Hold on! Darmanda has another group of techs down here. They're setting up a relay station to cut through all the storm interference. All comms will go through there. That's worth something to you, right? What are you doing? Bask will kill us! Where's the relay station? You must be the smart one. Talk. I, I don't know. Not exactly. But here, take this. Maybe there's something that can help in there. So, what happens with me? We need to keep you quiet for now. What? Risky. Maybe. Let's get this back to Ras. Have you found anything useful on that device, Ras? I did, despite a few interruptions. Reinforcements are here. Not surprised to see you here, Kavi. You've been instrumental in helping against Heta's forces. Heta Cole owes a debt of honor. I would see it paid. A few more blasters to make sure we don't get eaten by some kind of rock monster. You said you found something. We'll talk later. Yes, some fancy slicing and a bit of math, and I've got a likely location for the relay station. I've gotta say, this would be easier if we used comms, even if they're glitchy. Silence is just slowing us down. We won't have to remain quiet for much longer. When the time is right, it'll be a firestorm. That relay station gives us an advantage on the ground and might put us on Hedda's trail. About that. Maybe let us handle the relay station? I've got an idea about that trail you're looking for. 
go on? Well, the data from the device got me thinking about Hedda's base. You know where it is? Not exactly. Here, look at this. I added the relay station data to the patrol routes we got from the droids. See that? I mean, it's a lot to cover, but it's something. This is good. There are only a few places her base could be. We'll need to do this on foot. Wish I had my old hunting strill. Wait, you had a dog? A strill. Oh, they're the best! Ras. Right. Okay, yes. Second team will head to the relay tower, and you two will search for the base. Trudging through the waste is pointless. We know where to aim our weapons from orbit now. No. Effective, maybe. But that would be seen as cowardice. I have to face her myself, or all this means nothing. My fleet will keep waiting for the right time to strike. Before you head out, take these. A little something I've been working on. Let's you listen in on the bad guys. Might be handy. I'll go prep. Give the signal when you're ready to move. Akavi. I knew you'd be a part of this hunt as soon as your name came up back on Odessan. I appreciate being asked to help in the hunt. Anything I should know? We cannot fail. Hedda wants to be Mandalore and her power grows. Her followers were once true Mandalorians, but they were weak and they fell. We don't know much about them. When I dealt with the attack on Jakaya and the Spirit of Vengeance, it was a mix of clans and other groups. Hetta has given them purpose. We should be careful not to underestimate her. Agreed. I would be foolish to think her blade isn't sharp. But we waste time. You have a trail to follow and I have a relay station to find. Well, here we are again. Jakaya sends his regards. He said he likes knowing you've got Mandalore's back. I mean, I assume he meant my back too? Has he had any issues since being named Arbiter for the Mandalorians? Not really. I mean, he's very enthusiastic about telling everyone what to do. <laughs> I should have warned Mandalore about that. It's strange. I saw him lead people in battle, under fire, carrying wounded, all of it. But rarely sorting out some twisty political dispute. He's good at it. Well, of course he is. I'm just getting used to the different uniform, you know? What about you? Learn to play the grouty harmonic? Save the galaxy a few more times? I'm constantly trying to be everywhere at once. And today you're here. I get it. I owe you one. Learn anything else while we were gone? Not much. Comms are rough, but you knew that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Another thing. We underestimated our enemy's forces. The number of ships we saw coming in was impressive. We stick to the mission, in and out. That may not be our choice. Hedda's forces can cover more space with more guns. There's only so many places to hide down there. We'll find a way. I believe you. I've seen you improvise. Reminds me, I've got more gear to pack if I'm gonna slice a relay station. Very well. Adjusting sound. Field Marshal wants a report on the probe droids. Dust must be making them touchy. This is a waste of time. Be patient. Clan Harongir has been very generous. Our place is assured when this war is over. Clan Harongir? I figured we'd see them around here. Like I said before, they're old money. Many clans got rich from plunder during the Mandalorian Wars generations ago. They want those days back, and head is the answer. She sees the independence of that time as the purest form of honor. Problem is, mistaking greed for righteousness almost destroyed us. Let's move out. The armor looks like Clan Virad. If you don't report in, I have to come out here. That makes your clan look incompetent. I answer to the field marshal, not you! Educate this new recruit, or it's on you. Clear? 
Yes, Rakan. I will bleed him and his sister. Rakan earned his glory and blood. Don't shame me again in front of him. Grab your gear. We're on watch for the landing area. They mentioned a landing area. Let's take a closer look. The Rakan mean anything to you? No. Let's go. See anything? Ships. Definitely the landing area. Well hidden. Walled off. We're not getting in that way. I see some Varad troops. Movement. Dumb under patrol. You see our people on your way back? Nothing but blasted heat and animals. Something going on. Your techs didn't report in either. First of all, they don't report to Varad. Second, the comms are a mess. Don't worry about it. The field marshal wants that relay station up and running now. Patrol's done. I'm off the clock. You worthless Minog lovers. Grab your drug, people. We're checking on that relay station. A Varad patrol is headed right for our people. We break calm silence to warn them we risk jeopardizing this whole mission. They can handle themselves. You're right. Let's move out. Let's see if we can find a way into that landing area. Okay, I have spliced into the comms. That should make things easier. You seeing anything bad out there, Akavi? Nothing yet. All quiet. Akavi, look out! Cargo reference 011 SOV2. These artifacts are tagged to be reviewed today. You think it's the field marshal's new recruit? We don't ask. What about the new ship acquisitions? Quality vessels. Mostly carriers and long-haul ships being repurposed for her fleet. More on the way. They're Ashad. We need to get in there and cut communications so her fleet can't be mobilized. We've been lucky so far. Jedi. Padawan. My master was murdered. Condolences. Now put that thing down. No. I know you. Your picture was featured in my reports from Elam. It's Sahar. Padawan Sahar. Malgus slew your master, did he not? How do you... I know who you are. Stay back. Sahar, it's Rakan. Where are you? I need you to bring that holocron back to. Shay! Where's Hedekal? Enough! None of us will get what we want this way. Tell her to back off! Darth Null's holocron. What did Malgus want with it? Just go! Get out of here! I don't know anything that can help you! You will not survive on your own. Join us.
gone! And she destroyed my tracker! We got nothing! Hartuck! It's only a matter of time before she sounds the alarm and brings an army back here. Come on! We need to ground the whole operation until we locate Hedda. We needed information. Sahar was the only one who could have told us more about Darth Null's holocron. Hedda is my only concern. Don't get distracted. Let's move out. This has to be the command center. See if you can find out where Hedda's hiding. I'll scan for any uninvited guests. There's nothing about a location for Hetta's base, but it looks like we control the only communication tower. Then we bring Hetta to me. Blow this place to dust, cut off comms, and send up a flare she can't miss. We're out of options. Let's do it. I'll take out the heat sinks. You get the failsafe. Failsafe offline. That felt good. A little insurance. That should get Hedda's attention. Let's go see what else we can find. Find anything? A few pieces from the Spirit of Vengeance. The Ashad had very specific goals in mind with that attack. I didn't expect someone following the Jedi ways to be fighting for Hedda Cole. What do you think is happening there? She's a mere child under the sway of someone more powerful. Her teacher was weak, and so is she. Maybe. Doesn't matter much to me as long as she stays out of my way. I'm not finding anything here. Let's move on. Nothing so far. See if you can find anything on that console. I got your invitation. You must have been eager for my attention. I had only just learned of your encounter with Sahar. Your attempts to question her loyalty failed. There's nothing stronger than family. Mm, you look uncomfortable. At least I know Basque wasn't lying about the power of these sonic weapons. And hey, no hard feelings. I know there's a lot of drama between us, but that's all ancient history. But no Shay, I see. Anything to avoid her duties as Mandalore. No doubt she'll be along soon to face me. She will enjoy ending this. So will I. Such 
confidence. She wants you to believe this is all for a noble cause. Shay has always been a reluctant Mandalore, choosing to chase me rather than lead. The Mandalorians are scattered and uncertain. They could be an unstoppable force with the right leadership. And that's you? Shay's arrival was expected, but your involvement is a delicious wrinkle. I assume it was her idea to destroy the tower. Inconvenient. But it did bring us all together. Rikan, if Shay is here, Jekaya Ordo is somewhere close. Launch the fleet. I've never much cared for Darjeti, but I like you. So, do I use you as bait or cut your throat? I challenge you. Face me with honor, or show your followers what you truly are. Shay. Hera. I accept. The standard trappings are right here and now. Anytime, anywhere. Runak is a dull place. Let's give my people a show. Take her. Bring her! Any problems in transport, it's your head, Darmanda. You should've killed this one when we had the chance. No profit in doing that. I'm sure the field marshal has some grand plan. She always does. Huh? You all right? You look terrible. Shay challenged Hesa to a duel. She's been taken. A duel? Oh, of course. Okay. Listen, you remember that weird droid signal we used earlier? A new one popped up on my scanners. Led me right here. I thought you sent it, but clearly not. Shay was leaving a trail to follow. This is Hedda's base. If those two are gonna fight, it's here. Looks like I owe you one. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> looks like you do. So, anyway, I figured you might need a hand after we lock down the relay station. Now that was a fight. I got lucky, but Akavi was in the middle of it. She fought like a rat ghoul, but she's in worse shape than she'll admit. If we contacted you, we could have risked the whole mission. I understand. He did the right thing. I'm a Mandalorian. We invented overcoming the odds. Oh, one more thing. I wasn't too busy to notice a giant pillar of flame go up in the distance. Subtle. Comms are down except for some major jury rigging. The fleet that took off will be running half blind. We can use that if I can contact Jakaya. First things first. Right. Find Shay, shoot Hedda, and bring this whole place down. A few more of these should be a good start, right? Let's go. Huh? 
Hang on, let me check something. Okay, looks like I can get a message out to Jakaya through this, but it's gonna take some time. Down there is a service tunnel into the main area. It kills me, but I have to stay here and do this. Hedda's fleet can't be far away. Find Shay. I'm counting on you. to show you something. A weapon. One of the greatest ever created. It's been honed, tested, and delivered to devastating effect. On every one of us. The banner of Clan Kadera. Mandalore the Vindicated made us puppets of other powers. When the Kaderas resisted, he branded them traitors. My parents stood with them. For defending Mandalorian honor, they were slaughtered. This banner has been a symbol of shame for decades. A bloody reminder of what happens when you don't obey. Those who would keep us silent are the enemy. Are we not the greatest warriors in the galaxy? Are we not worthy of forging our own destiny? Then we must fight. First, by destroying our enemy's greatest weapon, our obedience. Then, by exposing their weakness. Shay Vizsla, come and face me. Gladly, Pretender.
Something's wrong. Shay's in trouble. You? Well, ain't this a kick to the shebs? What's going on here? Just making sure Hedda ends up on top. I got a lot riding on this. It took four of these babies to stop you. So, I figured if I use just one on Shea Bisla, the odds get much better for me. <laughs> Hedda doesn't know about this, of course. Don't want to step on her precious honor. Shut it off. Wait, wait, wait! Hear me out! If Hedda wins, I get a huge payday! Huge! You let me finish this my way, and Darmanda walks away from Hedda's pointy horns and anything to do with the hidden chain. She loses our support. You understand me? Hey, hey, I'll even sweeten the deal. Darmanda supplies your side a fat discount on weapons, supplies, whatever, for the war. Wow. Hmm. Between you and me, she ain't looking too good. You might as well get something out of this. Walk away. And that is Hedda's fleet arriving. Let me guess. Your fleet? We're out of time. Leave right now and Darmanda drops out of this and backs your side instead. So, what's it gonna be? I'm going to even the odds. That's your idea of a fair fight? Yeah, same as mine. You're right. Just cost me a lot of credits. Never threaten me.
Lucas Ordo. Is that you? Must be my lucky day. chance to kill you. They're retreating. Do not pursue. I repeat, do not pursue. What about Heta's fleet? We used that storm to launch an ambush of our own. It wasn't pretty, but it put them on the run. Mandalore, can you hear me? Jakaya? I'm right here. We're getting you out. Where is she? Heta's gone. Hartuk. It's not over. We'll find her. You can bet on that. Just tell her, Ras. I dislike secrets. Speak. An old enemy has crawled out of the muck. Rakan. He's the one who singled me out during the fight. I swore I'd kill him the next time I saw him. 
What's the story there? Two years ago, Rakan was part of a group helping the imps on Belsavis. They were good. Experienced, skilled, all that. The Republic hired their own team to stop them. Our... Our sister Layla was in charge. There were casualties, for both sides. The imp mission failed, but Rakan escaped. Layla didn't make it. Rakan blamed us, all of Clan Ordo, for his failure. We didn't understand why a mercenary took things so personally. It's clear now. He was part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. He's responsible for losing her best people on Belsavis. He failed her, not just the mission. A shame he lived. He was so close. I had him! You'll get another chance. He can't hide behind Hedda Cole forever. Come. We should see how Mandalore fares. How's she doing? Her wounds are significant, but she is recovering. You should talk with her. I'm fine, Jakaya. I don't need a nursemaid. That's for the best. None would put up with you as a patient, Great Mandalore. All of those battles have loosened your brain, as well as your tongue, wise arbiter. Ah, uh, sorry to interrupt. We got nothing. After Hedda's fleet disengaged, they jumped. Could be anywhere. Did we find anything at the base? Not much. Those techs you ran into were happy to go through Hedda's systems, so we'll keep searching. Hard proof aside, it's clear that Rakan's sister, Sahar, is working with Hedda. And she has a Sith relic. That can't be good. Malgus wanted it, and now Hedda has it. I need to put her in the ground before this gets any worse. News of your victory moves quickly across the galaxy. Why did you forbid me to mention the device we found? It was clearly there for Hedda to cheat. You will not mention it. Is that clear? Yes, Mandalore. I believe Hedda was not aware of the device. And while I felt the effects at the start of the duel, I am certain, certain Hedda was the target by the end. Did you have anything to do with this? The machine hurt you. The fight could only be fair if Hetta felt the effects as well. Fair? You think this is about being fair? Hetta cheated. You needed help. You had no right to choose between death and a lifetime of dishonor. Hetta Cole and the Hidden Chain have managed to attain a victory, despite her defeat. Mandalorians must decide who they follow. This pretender's days are numbered. Nothing will stand in my way. Vizsla proved more resourceful than I anticipated. She won. With all my plans, all my preparation, she still won. This was always a test, Field Marshal. One that you passed. A secret duel on a fringe planet. This won't be a secret for long. That only helps our cause. Win or lose, you stood your ground, and Shay needed a whole fleet to rescue her. Your movement, all of this. Became real. Very real, yes. My base is gone, and she's victory salting my wounds. We must prepare for war, even as we retreat. I trust you will see us through. What do you propose? I 
My sister has knowledge of a powerful new weapon. Rakan! What? Am I wrong? You hold the key. That was just between us. You promised to help me. I will. There is nothing more important to me. But this weapon, it's too dangerous. Then people with honor should control it. We both know the cost of being powerless. A weapon? Is this true, Sahar? Yes. Darth Malgus himself has his eye on it. Intriguing. Rikan, make sure no one interrupts us. <laughs> <laughs>